Hello witches, it's Stregabella. I have been pretty sick with uh, anemia, so I haven't been making too many videos. Um, for those of you who don't know, anemia makes you like so, so, so tired that um, my iron level is pretty much so low that I've been sleeping almost around the clock. So um, I figured while I'm up and about, I would make a video and um, tell you guys that in, let's see, what's today, the 27th, in about uh, 10 days or so, uh, I'm gonna be having um, two of my sisters visiting in my neck of the woods. So um, we are going to try to plan um, some kind of a, a live stream event or, um, you know, make a video together so you guys can see us all hanging out in Salem, Massachusetts. Um, I live about an hour now away from Salem. I grew up um, about 20 minutes um, away from Salem area. And um, so I'm not too far. Um, I do miss living on the North Shore where I, I used to live until a couple years ago. But um, I'm still not that far from, from Salem that if I wanna take a day trip, I certainly can. Or if I don't wanna do the hour long commute, I can easily stay at um, my parents' house overnight and then go the next day. Cause then it's only a 20 minute drive and that's really nothing to me. So, um, so um, sometime around February 7th to the 10th area, um, Deneen and Jenna are gonna be coming. Um, one of uh, Jenna's from Canada and Deneen I think is from Maine. Um, so we're all gonna be getting together and um, doing the fun tour stuff. Um, you know, for witches, like looking at the cemeteries and places where things have happened and uh, the, the more witchy oriented type of shops rather than the, um, you know, there's different types of shops in Salem and you have to know which ones are the authentic um, that are gonna have real stuff and the ones that are just kind of um, more touristy. Cause you know, you really have to know where to go so that you don't waste your trip. And um, there's a few places that uh, the locals know, like, um, there's a restaurant, um, I think it's a sports bar now, but it used to be um, more of like a, just a bar restaurant type of place where um, there was said to be um, the ghost of a little girl in it. And um, she was seen often in the upper floors where the offices were. And then one day, um, while well, everyone was watching, I think a Pats game or something, and they all cheered at the same time. The walls came crashing in because above the restaurant was the cemetery, and the girl's actual body, her her grave with the coffin and everything, came crashing into the restaurant, which was pretty cool. And um, so the owners finally said, "Okay, that's enough," and they sold the place, and um, now it is a sports bar. So um, we may visit that place and. Uh, see where we go and hopefully we will let you guys tag along. I am preparing my batteries. I have extra batteries so my phone can't die um, or if it does die I have extra batteries all charged up. So um, I hope you guys are excited. I am. I am so excited to meet some of my witchy sisters from YouTube and Facebook on in person. That's so exciting to me because, um, you know, it's interesting to see if people are the same way that they are um, in the videos, if they're the same way in person or not. Um, some people say that they're they've met people and they're exactly the same. Other people say, "Oh, he looks so different. I didn't think he was that tall or whatever." So. Um, well, seeing myself in camera, I can really see how deathly um, sick I look. I'm so sorry, guys, that I don't look my uh, normal self. I'm like, you can see the cold sweat kind of <laughs> facial uh, look to me. And the I, I really try to make the death eyes kind of not so bad, but you can definitely see them. That is an eyeshadow. That's like literally the color of my face. It looks like a dead person, which I guess I kind of am. So I guess I can save a lot of money on makeup because I don't need an eyeshadow to look like I'm trying to look the dead look. The zombie looks in, right, guys? <laughs> All right, guys, bless it be. See you later. Bye.